Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this video, we're just picking up where we left off in the last one. This is the series where I'm going from Earth to Mars, my take two. So let's just go ahead and switch to the full screen Orbiter, unpause, and continue on with the mission. So in the last video, we took care of a couple mid-course corrections. And this video will probably do something similar, but I think it'll be, I think we'll get to Mars in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and warp time forward at maximum time warp until we are at 2M. And then we'll take a look at uh, how things are changing over here and maybe we'll get lucky and won't have to do anything. But I think we're still far enough away from Mars that we'll probably have to do another bump of translation. So we're 2. That always scares me every time. Uh, Control W to reset. And since I got that, let me take a look at my resources. So we have, um, all right, control H. So we have 41 days left. I think you get that alert. Uh, it's not based on how many hours or days, but it's based on percentage. And I think when we drop below 10%, so we have 41 days left of O2. So let's take a look while, since we just got that alert, our date is 61605 and we are expecting to arrive 61633. So what is that, you know, 28 days, I think? So we should be okay, but we are cutting it fairly close. Um, but again, that was, it's certainly not as close as I used to cut things with like, you know, 0% margin of error or like 0.1% margin of error I would give myself. Um, but I still, it, it still always gives me uh, a momentary heart attack when I hear that alert. All right, now we're down to 2M. So let's go back to real time. And again, since we're below the surface, I don't have all my information I need, so it's a bit inefficient for me to just try to guess with the translation thrusters. So let's bring up Transax, turn on maneuver mode, and we'll just go through our variables here, starting with date first. Put this out into the future just a little bit. Something like that should be fine. And now we'll go and we'll start with prograde and just see what happens. Start with the super. And that's pretty sensitive, so that's good. So that means it won't take much. So I can tell if we do just a bit of... Uh... Okay, and it looks like I think I think we'll probably just go with prograde because it's such a small amount. I'm not going to try to figure out, well, can I beat this with, you know, outward? I don't think it matters. So... Okay, now I think we can probably start actually thinking about dialing into the target um, altitude we want for our braking maneuver. We're going to do atmospheric braking. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we want to aim for, um, let's aim for 30. Let's aim for 28. Okay, and then we're not going to worry about off base distance necessarily, although it, I don't have it. So it's, uh, let's actually bring it up again just in case it's really far off. But as long as we're in the ballpark, we don't have to worry about it because we'll have uh, cross range. So Olympus, uh, and yeah, we're pretty far off. So let's get closer than that. Um, so let's look at outward and so that's bringing us down with not a lot of outward. Let's ch also check plane change. That's helping a lot, actually. So maybe we won't do outward. Let's reset outward for now. And let's look between outward and prograde, or rather plane change in prograde. Okay, so that is improving both directions. So let's bring that down to say here and then look at our plane change. Maybe go to a finer setting. Okay, that's going the wrong way for us, so no, that was going the right way. Okay, so that's taking the off plane in the right direction, but raising our altitude. So let's 
do that and then look at uh, all, um, prograde all right and I think we'll have it here yeah I'm gonna say that's good enough for what I'm trying to do at the moment all right view over to target and let's uh, get going here because we don't have a lot of time until it's ready to do the maneuver and once again we won't bother with burn time because burn time won't even read that amount I don't think I think it always cuts short by 3.5 Delta V it's like 3.5 or 4 so it won't even it won't even do anything with that small of an amount all right Rotation, translation. time to do the burn and if we miss it by one second it's okay I'm right now it's more important to me to get the to get the auto center lined up so you can see we've missed we technically missed our burn by a couple several seconds here but uh, all right let's go ahead and get that burn done okay turn this off view over to maneuver backwards or forwards always the question all right, so we're at 51 and negative 123. So let's see if we need a bit more translation. translation. Does that help or hurt? Okay, so a bit more translation this way is bringing down the off base. And translation in this direction is bringing down the altitude. So let me see if I can just tap translation. These are all micro bursts, so it's really cheap. Just using control thrust here and we're gonna go with we're gonna go with that all right so we'll bring orbit mfd back up on this side we're currently you know about two so let's cut that number in half one more time go to one um let me think here for a second so six three three so in theory we're 13 days away so we should be okay on locks So we're almost at one. And that's basically one. Okay. So taking a look, we have a minimum altitude of tw uh, 13, and our off base has gone away again. So let's, now we've already referenced Mars, so we just need to target the base. And we're out by 487, so let's just C with translation, just let's maybe just bump the thruster, just control thrust. Okay, so that's raising the minimum altitude. Let's try. Okay, so that is bringing down the off base. And that's a. Uh, I'm using my eight at the moment. And let's. And then a bit of reverse translation. So looks like these two will get my numbers closer to what I want. And for now, we're going to go with that. All right, bring back up orbit, and we're going to cut that number in half again. So we'll go down to 500K. How far out are we? So I think we're 11 days out now. Got to start watching the time warp a bit closer. We're getting so close now that those maximum time warps go by fast. All right, so we're at 500, we're at 26, and looks like we lost it again. <clears throat> Target the base. So 141 out. So let's just tap translation. translation. And we'll try the same ones we were using before and just see if that helps. So that's... Okay, so that's bringing down the off plane and bringing down the altitude. So we'll probably. Okay, so if I tap 8, that raises my altitude and brings down my off plane just a little bit. And if I tap 6, it brings down my off plane quickly 
and brings down my altitude not as quickly. So those are the two that I want to tap back and forth for now. So maybe one more eight, a bit more on the six. So my off plane is, I'm, I'm there. Um, and then my minimum altitude, that's in the ballpark of what I'm going for. So we'll stick with that for now. Go back to orbit, cut this number in half again. And we should be, what are we, five days away now? So we're going to go down to 250k. And really got to watch that maximum time warp because these numbers tick by fast right now. So 250 coming up. And we'll go with that. All right, so and once again, map, target base. So we're 16 kilometers off from the base, 16 altitude. So the altitude's holding pretty steady, but the off base is slipping a bit. Rotation. Let's just, uh, so that's, okay, so reverse translation's bringing down the off plane, bringing down the altitude. Eight is bringing, okay, eight's definitely not what I want. So I want two and six right now. So two is bringing up the altitude actually maybe just two just bringing up the altitude a little bit and bringing down the off plane quickly and then just a little bit of reverse so let's go with that for now bring back up orbit and rinse and repeat we'll go down to 125 so we should be about two days out we can probably actually see mars now um if I wanted to bother, you know, trying to look around. Actually, there it is right there. So with that in mind, Rotation. let me go ahead and rotate around so we can have it in our forward view. Um, so I need to rotate a little bit more and pitch up maybe. Right there, and then rotate a bit more. So I should be, oh, I guess I overshot it, I pitched. Okay, there it is, it's in my forward view now. Okay, so with that in mind, let's uh, cut the number down to 125, warping time forward. And vessel spun around so I don't see Mars anymore, it's unfortunate. And there we are, 125. Okay, so now, um, once again, bring up map, target my base, because it keeps forgetting. Oh, wow. Oh, I was, look I was looking at that number. I was like, oh, wow, my off base just shot way up. So minimum altitude is holding steady. Off base is holding steady. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to adjust the minimum altitude a little bit. I want to bring it up a little bit higher. Translation. And I'm just going to guess. So let's let's do control thrusts. Okay, so control two, which is thrusting the vessel up relative to its wings level position, is bringing my minimum altitude up, and it's uh, changing the off plane as well. So let's see. And then let's see what forward translation is doing. Forward translation is also bringing the altitude so these two I think will give me what I want and I'm, I'm thinking I want to have a, a target altitude at Mars of around 25 to 20 to 25 to 30 not that I actually plan on flying that low but I want to have that as my target and then I'll use the the uh, aerodynamics of the vessel to control what actually happens. Um, okay, so. All right, we're gonna go with that for now, even though it's at 40 but uh, we're gonna warp time forward until we're at about 75. Actually, let's go to 60,000, 60K. And then that should probably be our final 
um, hopefully our final you know, pseudo mid-course correction. All right, I heard that means we just spent that buzz sound. It means we just spent the last of our um, our locks module is now empty, so we're only using onboard O2, or we're using O2 that's in the tank. So that also means we can dump that extra module to free up uh, some delta V. So while I'm thinking about that, let me bring up burn time on this side. And we're at 4.62, which I think is, I think puts us in way better shape than we were on the last mission. But let's go to the upper panel. Go into the, or just turn on the APU. Open. And we'll select this module. All right, make sure it's selected and then deploy it. And again, I forgot to actually make a mental note of whatever the DV was. Let me just warp time forward to give that a chance to float away. That should be good enough. Close. Turn off the APU. Back to real time. And then look down here. Uh, and again, I'll have to review the video to see what the before and after was. But, you know, the point is it will have gone up by some amount. All right, back over to these views that are much easier to see. Bring up orbit, and I think we were planning to go to 75, which we've done. And now, let's see here. So we're at 51 and two. Um, let me translation. bump the translation a little bit to bring down the minimum altitude a little bit. So that's actually taking it up, that's taking it down. So right now I'm using control thrust and I'm using six, which is bringing down the minimum altitude, but it's raising the, actually I can't tell if it's raising the off base distance or not because it's lost that again. So there we are. So now control six is bringing down the off plane and bringing down the altitude. So let me, let me tap this one as well. So that's not helping, that's helping as far as the minimum altitude goes, that's having the biggest impact on the minimum altitude. And then, okay, so here, here, there we go. That's good. So 31 is, uh, 31 kilometers is currently my target, which I think is reasonable. And I think this is a good save point so let me hit the control s control p to pause switch over to the overlay and so we're here at mars where we still have a little bit way of a ways to go but to get the rest of the way down but we're just hours away at this point point. and when we come back we'll go the rest of the way to mars and i'm thinking most likely we will do the the atmospheric braking maneuver in that video and try to complete orbit circularization as well um, we could potentially do atmospheric braking and then go immediately in for our landing, but more likely than not, I'm going to want to uh, eliminate my velocity, circularize my orbit, and then just kind of take a look and see where things are, because we may want to orbit the planet once or twice uh, to put ourselves in a more, um, a better position for landing. So with all that said, if you liked the video, please leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next part.